uh, we continue our programming challenges in chapter six. Um, we are in we are in programming challenge three, and this program is called carpet calculator. So basically, what we have to do is to calculate how much it will cost um, to carpet a room. So we have to create two classes. The first class is 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 room dimension, which uh, has uh, two fields, the length and the width of the of the room, and it also has a method called uh, get area. Uh, it will calculate the area of the room, and we have to create another class called uh, room carpet. This class would uh, has uh, would it will has two fields. The first uh, field will be room dimension object, and it will also has a cost per square foot uh, field. It will also has a method called get total cost. So that's uh, that's what we have to do. We have to create two classes, and let's begin with the first class, which is uh, room dimension. So we'll go here, right click new, and say room dimension, and this class's job is to have private double length private double width. Then it will has uh, it will have a constructor double length double width. So length equals L width equals W then it will has it will also have a public double get area it will return the area and the area of a rectangular rectangle um, is return length times width so that's how you how you find the area of a rectangle after this we have to create the second class we already completed the first class the second class is called room carpet so let's copy that go here right click new java java class then paste it room carpet this would have private room dimension which is the object or the class we created uh, just now and uh, their name is they said we have to make make it the name would be size it would be size for some reason they said also another field which is name is uh, carpet cost which is double it also has a constructor from carpet it will take a room dimension object I will call it dimension then and double I will call it cost then the size object would be equal to the dimension the carpet cost would be equal to cost then they said we have to calculate the cost of the carpet and the way we would do that is uh, we'll say public double get total cost it doesn't take anything 
and it will return um, to get the cost we have to get the area of the room dimension class and the way we can find that is to call this uh, this uh, field size which is the object room dimension uh, size get area time is you have to multiply the, the carpet cost so this would give us the total cost of the of the room um, the square the carpet uh, uh, f feet square times the the area of the room so the, that would be it for this class so they said we have to go back we have to create another class which is the main class I already created uh, a class called carpet calculator and um, you have to run you have to create a main method then we have to ask the user for the values you have to ask You have to ask enter the length of the room. You have to ask that. And whatever uh, the user enters, it would be stored in length. Then we have to say enter the width of the room then we will store it in width next double and lastly we ask the user for enter the cost per per square feet or foot I don't know I'm not good at grammar so double cost we will say cost uh, SC next double after the user enters the length width and the cost per square feet uh, we have to call the objects the two objects the first we will call the room dimension room dimension I will I will say the room room dimension as RD new room dimension then we will give the length and the width after that we will call the other class which is room carpet I will call it RC new uh, room carpet uh, the first the argument is the object we already created which is RD and the second is the cost per square feet to get uh, to get the total um, the total cost we will say the total cost is then dollar sign then we will say RC which is the uh, room carpet get total cost so let's run it enter the length of the room I will say 12 enter the width of the room I will say 10 enter the cost uh, per square feet 8 they say the total cost is 960 I think it is correct let me check uh, let me check in calculator I will say command I'm using Mac command space I'll say 12 times is 10 times is 8 what is it yes it is 960 so the computer is right 
So I think that would be it. Uh, I will post it in my GitHub account for this source code for these three classes. And I uh, hope uh, you guys um, the best. And um, I'll see you next time.